Welcome to another thrilling, exciting edition of Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. Anyway, before we even get into what happened last time, and maybe I might not, you might notice a little something that's slightly different. Listen to these mouse buttons. That's right, no, no lousy clicking noise every time I hit a mouse button. No, I didn't get a new mouse. I got a new machine, one that handles a lot better. And these videos are now in full 1080p. I've already used this machine to compile a video from the older computer. And well, my video software doesn't seem to want to support the format I normally upload things in. So I tried Windows Media Format and it looked all right, but Minecraft's going to be the gold standard to figure out if I should try something else. Anyway, last episode, I forget what days these are because this has been running for so long. We tried to go exploring. Horse would get stuck an awful lot. Would find water too deep. Anyway, also one of the things I did is I reviewed a bit of some video I did record on this for another game, Cube World, and the mic sounded horrible. I adjusted the settings. It sounds much better now. So here we are, single player. I ported everything over. These should be the most up-to-date. And now that I have a newer computer, I should get better frame rates. So I'm going to set the timer as a backup. We go for three Minecraft days here. Go. If you want to play this world, the, the birthday seed, it should appear now. And one of the things I've noticed is I'm ignoring things. I'm, I'm still adjusting things on the computer so setup's a little off also i have no iron ingots yay that's all right hey i know the loud clicking of me hitting the buttons is a little much but it's better than the alternative of the click anyway we got a few things we want to take care of, and on my old computer, I only could get about, oh, come here, Wolfie. Yeah, we got a Wolfie. On my old computer, I only managed to get, recording under fraps, about, oh, where are you? Around... Usually 30 or 60 frames per second, and I know it's not the fastest frame rate in the planet, but 106, not too bad. Of course, everything is still recorded at just 15 frames per second. Initially, I only did that because the computer I had didn't have any hard drive space, and the backup drive, which I stored these files on later, had limited space as well. So it made the AVI files manageable. Nowadays, it's, uh... It's more for ease of editing, and if you really pay attention to YouTube videos every once in a while, you'll notice that oh, we, one of the things we wanted to do was take care of this uh, farming project here. Okay, uh... Here we can blend that together. That lead, that's a... 
that's an item we can put there. Anyway, if you watch YouTube videos really closely, whenever YouTube gets a little bogged down from heavy use, or even when your own computer tends to be bogged down by applications, your frame rate drops from 30 frames a second to 15. And when you're engrossed in a video, you don't tend to notice these things, but I do. So, for consistency purposes, I am recording at 15, so whether or not your computer is slowed down by either either YouTube or through applications, the consistency of the video will be significantly more improved. We could always use this paper, believe it or not. What we need now is to eat a moo moo patty because we're at four drumsticks. I know this is not the most, uh, not the most, uh, fun adventure yet, but we had so many loose ends to tie up. So, yeah, I'm still recording at 15 more for consistency when the server gets tied up on YouTube's end or when your computer goes into uh, I'm struggling mode, keeps things more consistent. Most likely it's more their end than yours. So what I have noticed, though, is when recording at these lower rates, even on a powerful machine like this, the ultimate frame rate tends to suffer a bit. Like when I'm recording Cube World, my frame rate has literally dropped to as low as 15. And that's an i7 quad 2.4 gig in terms of clock speed. And a GeForce GT 765M, which for a laptop is supposedly very high end. Not saying it's the biggest and best thing ever in the history of the world. And while we're at it, take this bow, take that bow bow, get a better one. And I'm afraid to combine these two because they're a little too... I think I lose the, uh, yeah, I lose the power one aspect of things. Might use that for something else. Also, I ha it has been brought to my attention because I'm a little uh, sloppy with things, is... I should think of, oh, you know what? I should take some of these. I need to ditch stuff. I need to ditch some cobblestone, we need that. Uh, and ditch the dirt for now, we don't really need that. One of the things I also struggled with and fixed with this new machine is that I had a problem with the touchpad. It defaults with uh, click double clicking. We'll just put that there for now, and that there for now, and this there for now. We could ultimately use the space. So it took me a while. I had to go on forums and everything to figure all that stuff out, and. Ultim ultimately now, as you, that's me tapping on the keys. I mean, not the keys, the uh, touchpad. Nothing happens now because I disabled it. As I, on my server, the sysops, well, I'm old school, the ops, like myself, we all have the, we all have the ability to go creative, and do whatever we want. So I'm going to do now is I'm just going to...
mine a little of this out. We need cobblestone, but while we're doing this, we'll do a little bit of uh, exploration as well. Might, might as well make a, get a good use out of it, right? So what we'll do is, when it gets dark, which I think it's going to do pretty soon, is we're going to do a little repair work on the, uh, oh, I never lit this up. Yeah, right there. We we'll block this off for temporarily. How many torches we got? Only 40. Oh, that's okay for now. And this ultimately joins in underneath the house. Oh, hi, Creeper. Welcome to my new computer. Oh, that was not supposed to happen, but it did. I thought it was backing up faster than what I did. So, oh, hi again, Creeper. And wait a minute, let me get up here. Yeah, you're not going to blow up like your brother did. Oh, lagged. Anyway, uh, according to our clock, it should be getting dark out now. So, hmm, it's not. Must be getting close. Yeah, it is. So we're going to just stop at that point. Maybe dig a little more in one of these holes. Just to get more cobble. Oh, the excitement. But we got to keep an eye out for things. You never know what will spawn and come after us when we're not looking. And we're going to rework the monster trap XP slash collector item thing farm. We're going to rework it because I did not know that you could use signs to trick the monsters into thinking there's a floor. I knew that trick existed. The thing was that it was designed, Minecraft fixed it so that a one block wide, oh uh, yeah, one block wide opening, the monsters will realize there's a floor there and not fall through, which is something we don't want. So we will need this. We will need wood, which we don't have right now. But look, we got a tree. Let's chop it down. Okay. And since it's a new computer, the achievements are kind of brand new. Now, every once in a while, my touchpad stops working when I, uh... Every now and then, my second finger will hit the touchpad, and it will assume that I'm doing, uh, scrolling, which I'm not. So, that'll get us kind of started. Actually, it'll be easier to go this way. So I gotta kind of keep in mind not to hit the touchpad with two fingers. I just want to check something before we... Okay, it's moody. For some reason, it looks brighter. Might be because of... I got a high contrast display. So everything's probably looking a little brighter than it really is. 
Anyway, we're gonna go in here and... Sounds like we got monsters. Oh, hi. Probably should use a tool that'll kill. There we go. Alrighty. Yeah, I found there's a flaw in the system here. So what I'm gonna do is, once again, temporarily light things. Just so we'll be safe for a moment. And he says this part is okay. Because I got a friend on my server that's built an XP farm that actually works. This is more of a collector than an XP farm. So we're going to light things up here. You see it's a little too shallow here now. So this area needs a bit of work. And I need to be able to get to where I'm going. There we go. I know it fills back up with water, but the source block is gone. And that's what we're trying to get rid of right now. I just need to plop one more piece of dirt right there. And water's gone. All right. That'll work. So what we need to do now is... Boy, we need a lot of wood for this project. Is... We gotta start installing the signs. Because apparently, when a gap is bigger than one block, the sign trick still works. Because the monster assumes that there is a block here. But, for some reason, the sign's ability to allow something to... Oops. No. Somehow the sign trick still works. That's pretty much what I'm trying to get at here. Very weak fashion. So now this this trap on this side should work. When I darken up this area, I should get monsters to form in here. but Wolfie will come with us. We're going to head to the village where it's safe, relatively. Oh boy. Suddenly creepers aren't so bad. I got what I wanted, I believe. Yeah, suddenly creepers are not the bad guys anymore. So to speak. I gotta also remember stone swords don't exactly have a ton of durability. And it takes four whacks to kill a creeper. Alrighty. Should be paying attention to our food bar here, and we're not. There's a creeper. And there's a spider. Yeah. 
helps to aim. There we go. We don't need any more spider eyes for the time being. Alrighty. We need wood. A lot of wood. Problem is... Monsters. Okay, Moo Moo Patty time. Oh yeah, one of the other things we gotta do. We have issues with... Run. Oh, before we start... Okay, difficulty on normal. Watch me suck is done on normal. Is... Need... Okay. Need to... Fix a fence problem we have. See, I have a... Incorrectly staged this area. There are instances where, if we look here, where we have a street light, we just used a regular block. They can climb that. We don't want that. We need to keep them from doing that. So, what we'll do is we'll put a block here and restore the torch. We will repeat that through the village. We gotta walk through and make sure to get rid of them all. It's another one. It's another... Just put. Ah, crap. Crap. Okay. Did it, zombies need to go away. Enough. Oh, smart. Alrighty. Next day. Let's fix some of the things that broke. Alright, we've... We got some dirt. Let's fix that part. We got road. Let's fix that part. And go around the village just to be sure we've pretty much plugged our holes. Someday we'll go back to our uh, mine of adventure down there. Yeah, bigger fish to fry for the time being. So, right now, make sure the perimeter is safe. I think we've finished everything we need to get done. And the next thing we got to do is collect a lot of wood. Or maybe borrow. So we don't have to waste a lot of time and effort. Uh-oh. What happened here? I swore I had a entire had the entire thing put entirely surrounded. Did I never do that? That is interesting. 
you know what? We're gonna we're gonna finish this, which I was positive I've done before. We'll just do 36 for now. See if that's enough. It's taking away from. I was very positive I did this. Well. Then again, maybe something got lost in the... Uh, something somehow might have got lost in the uh, shuffle. Somewhat believable. All right, that's taken care of. We got more than we need. And miss the gate. Alrighty, that's interesting. Not sure how all that was kind of not there, but it wasn't. Anyway, we need signs for that project. And once again, miss. So, do that. And... Forget to do this. Well, might be too many. That might get us a, a good start. Enough for now. I think Wolfie might have. I think Wolfie might have died. I just don't get how that section of fence was missing. Have I completely ignored that section that whole time? Or did a chunk somehow not come back? Is it nice to see me jump and not hear, and not hear that little freaking loud mouse? Isn't that the greatest? We need to start getting iron ingots and stuff because really starting to uh, run low on stuff we really need. So once again, here's our little system. Okay, I don't see a outcropping anywhere nearby. Oh, look at that. Buck 35. I know it's not the fastest frame rate out there, but still. Me likes what me sees. Okay, somewhere out here. You know what? Maybe it wasn't out here. It was amongst, well... Let's go back down here just because we can. Uh oh. I think I might have done something stupid. I thought this went. Yeah, it did. It did go close by to where I was. Look at all these caves. So, what we're going to do is. A little more of the exploration. We'll just go. Ah, uh, well, that's it. Let's 
So back into the shelter we go. I think we still have some iron. Let me just... Yeah, we have we need to get some iron. I don't know how much I got left. But we need to get... Okay, make the corner. There we go. Yeah, we don't have too much in the way of iron ingots, so... Actually, what we can do right now is... Uh, what do we need? Let's look at ourselves. We need a helmet and hit the wrong button per usual. I am so good at doing that. Here we go. New helmet. And... Okay. New sword. I think we'll just carry that as a backup. I know it kind of look a little ghetto, but we'll just use finished stone for our little trap for now. Actually, Let's not and say, uh, before we do that, let's just pop that into place. And okay, now we'll go to the library. Yeah, I've been kind of busy trying to get this new machine ready to go. Which, for the most part, it is. There are certain things that don't work on the new machine that work on the old one, which kind of sucks in a way. Let's see how high we can get. Can we at least get a 20? I have a feeling we can't. I'll just stick with a 17 for now. Efficiency on breaking three. That's... Pretty good. We need that. And it's starting to get dark again, so. Dude's gonna take this iron helmet and. Whoops. There we go. Aqua Infinity! Hmm, nice. All right, it's starting to get dark again, so. At this point, we're gonna go back to our little, go back to our little project over here. I am so glad I disabled tapping on this thing. I don't know how many things I might've probably destroyed in the process. Oh, I forgot to do something with the sword. That, oh, well. We're still better off. So up we go. Okay, overshoot we don't want to do. Alright, time for some signage. Get this place prepped. There we got one landing completed. We'll keep this divider. Let's see. We have enough dirt. Actually, this will not be enough. So what I want to ultimately do is, this is too low, 
it's not good enough. We're going to need to raise the deck itself higher. We got plenty of room to do that. So what we're going to do is recover recover some of this. Actually, we could have just left it. Got to go one higher. Actually, I think we could leave that. So let's see. We can recover that a little bit later. This is going to be the height of the next segment. And for the floors above, everything will remain the same. Oh, crap. That was bad. Move. Okay, why are we not moving? Good enough for now. Yeah, that didn't quite work. So this will be our ultimate height here. we need to do is add legs of believability to this but that's not gonna happen right now most important thing is to make the deck so it's one two three four five two three four five six seven eight this would actually be the next height. Alrighty, there we go. Actually, we want that there. Another case where the touchpad ignored my uh, finger moving. Don't know why. It's just something that happens. Okay, so right here. Is where. Our. Yeah, see. Reconfiguring this is a bit challenging. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's the correct size. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, everything is correct now. So what we gotta do is remove this. Collect all this a little later. Screw up again. 
hit the wrong button again. I noticed though it's when I hit a directional arrow. Yeah, yeah that's what's doing it. That's hooked. If I'm hitting if I'm hitting a function key like the block or jumping while moving, it'll for some reason I just get uh, nothing out of it. Like I said, just till we get everything all set up and ready to go. Get this access hole. So we can do now is put signage on these ends. I think this will be ready till we yeah yes we made it not sure if it will be ready to attempt to use right away made it. Very important that we do. And we probably won't have enough signage to do this. Yeah, if I get this, hit a direction arrow. Hmm. Certain combinations don't work. Yeah, I've, I've hit computers bef before that had some weird limitations and I grew accustomed to it and figure out how to completely avoid the problems. Like I think the second ever computer I ever had, I had a problem with certain key combinations when playing Doom didn't work. And jump! Made it. Yeah, so until we get this all completed, we... Oh, we're going to fall so... Sh just shy of what we need. Two more. And we don't need this anymore. That was to build the roof. You can build that a little later. Anyway, let's go down and if they're still there, collect our items, which There he is. Yeah, you two fight it out. There we go. Yeah, I think Wolfie died. I haven't seen him in a while. Alrighty. One of the things we definitely need are. Uh, we don't have enough dirt, do we? Well, we'll find out. We need. Oh, we do. Legs of believability here. 
thing kind of looks like it's floating up in midair, which is kind of dumb. There we go. Then I just did absolutely nothing and it ignored. I wonder what's going on with that. I will say it's not the computer because this is not my first replacement computer for the old i7. I bought another HP because I haven't had any issues with them. And I got the exact, the exact same thing happened. So it's something with Windows 8. I don't know what it is. And I don't know why. But here's something. Okay, and that's a... Okay, I can't move around. I gotta really reconfigure this. So, it seems kind of mundane, but, you know, realism is quite important. I know in the world of Minecraft, you don't really need it, but it kind of looks a bit lazy if you don't do it. I got five more minutes to get more material. Which I'm pretty much out of at this point. Wow, that, that just looks fake. Oh well. Can't can't fix everything, can we? So what we'll do is we'll We'll actually go to the old uh, mine shaft. Jump there just to make things a little faster. And when I recorded my uh, first watch me suck, which was uh, Cube World. Mike didn't sound very hot. Sounded horrendous, actually. Then I changed a setting and all is good. We need cobblestone. Lots of cobble. Goodness. So, that's what we're doing. Of course, just for believability purposes, torch, torch. They're seriously running out of food. I know we could get plenty more. We'll just go three deep. That way we find stuff, uh, maybe. Gravel. Just what I always never wanted. If we can get, we can get flint heads, that'll be great. And of course, for the sake of stability, in case a creeper comes in and blows up, we replace the floor with. The material we're trying to keep. Okay. I think we cut a little too much. Okay. 
a bit of a protection barrier there. Ooh, three wide. Maybe you might find something. Besides what we don't want. Which, of course, is not how it works. Alright, low enough. More, more, and more. This time I don't mind not finding anything more. You know, like uh, iron or what have not. Although I would definitely like to have it. Without a doubt, love to have it. For the sake of what we're doing, good enough for now. And we're not going to worry about the legs of believability for the time being. And we'll just go too deep. Kind of don't want to deal with the gravel for the time being. I just want to gather cobblestone and keep the f and keep the uh, system in halfway decent condition here. There we go. Oh, we're going to need, uh, we are going to need wood again. Oop, almost fell. Not good. All right, time is almost up. So what we're going to do is go into our little uh, we got our of course forest over here. Take down as much as we need. as much as we can get in the allotted time before the sun goes down. More signs, the better. Noticing every time it does ignore when I press the uh, key, I mean the uh, mouse pad, that my finger seems to be sticking, so I don't know if I'm just making bad contact. And the sun's about to go down. This is well lit, we don't have to worry about zombies in this right now. Yeah, I think it's bad contact. So I just rolled my finger and it felt a little uh, smoother, the touchpad, and it responded. I think that's half the battle right there. All right, let's head into the farm where we can, you know, that's been annoying me. Let's make a crap load more signs. I realize that I'm not going to really make enough. 
For the time being, that's good. What we want to do right now is simply get back up. Get back up and get that thing working again. You see, it's starting to look more believable. Climb that ladder. Because this was a project that needed attention to begin with. And is it somebody who's on my server who's building an XP farm? Says that it needs to be adjusted. Jump! Yes. Good jump. I think maybe until I get the whole thing done, I'm going to leave it well lit so nothing does actually show up in here. Yeah, it must be contact, because then again, I just scrolled and nothing happened, used a different finger and it worked. It's got to be contact somehow. It's a different material. I'm not trying to make lame excuses. I'm just saying there, there's probably a legit reason why I'm not getting good contact on here. Because it does feel a bit odd. And like I said, the upper floors, we don't have to adjust the height. The whole reason for the height was because I thought that they could spawn where there was water and they would just automatically drop in. That's not the case. side was never done. I might just leave it for now. Jump. So in we go. Start the second deck. I don't know. We'll Try it with two and see what we get. Because I've seen his uh, his work, and it doesn't need a, doesn't really need a ton of floor space to get a lot of monsters. I just try with four. That is one. Two, three, four. Let's see what we get. Might expand it someday. So we did accomplish something today. We fixed the holes and apparently a missing section of uh, section of fence that I either really never noticed that I neglected or there was some sort of a transfer failure transferring this map over to this machine. Not quite sure. And 
10 stutter. That hasn't changed. But still, who cares when you're getting about a buck, buck 20 to a buck 35 recording a video? And we're about to run out. And we ran out making the third deck. So here we are. We got the signs. So apparently it still will think that it's safe to travel. I have no idea how that still works when a one wide doesn't. But you know what? Who cares at this point? And how much of the day is left? Not much. So let's see, how much more material do we have? Nothing. So let's head back down and some of the 1.6 bugs like that cow that escaped. And that's a little off, just a little. Not too badly though, as we are just about ready to end another exciting edition of Watch Me Suck at Minecraft. Again, I didn't quite pay attention to the day count, so not 100% sure on the dates. We got enough time to do a little quickie signage here and there we go. That'll be it for this exciting episode, sort of. And we'll just end it right here. Georgia551 saying, hope you enjoyed and have a good one.